heard the nickname's Billy. <laughs> How did that come about? Um, that's actually my dad's childhood nickname. Nobody's ever called me that growing up, besides some of my family up north. But it's just a catchy little thing, and uh, it's a, it's a fun thing. Coach Trailer just kind of looked at you and said, Billy? <laughs> You're Billy mm-hmm. now? Yep. No, not Coach Trailer. Oh. It's been a thing since before Coach Trailer's been here. It's just been a fun nickname. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a team thing only, you know what I mean? Yeah. BJ, what's it meant to you to move up to number two on the depth chart? Get a lot of carries in, some, in recent weeks. Uh, it, mean, it means everything to me, you know, because uh, I've been on, the, I've been doing the same routine for the past three years. It's regardless of, you know, I never know what's going to come from me in the game. So I do the same thing every day, and I try to win every day. And I know eventually, you know, it'll pay off. And I'm just glad to contribute to a success to a top 25 team in the nation. It feels, it feels amazing. What was the feeling like when you got in the end zone and scored a touchdown on Saturday? Uh, it felt great. I wanted to sincere. I said thank you because he ran us down there. You know, I just finished it off. wasn't a, It wasn't that major. I know there's bigger things to come. What does that feel like though when you see what he did on that long run, and then they gave it right to him the next time to see if they could get him in a touchdown? Mm-hmm. Obviously, he's gassed. They put you in there. Is there any kind of? I realize it's for the team, but it was like. Oh man, since you really should have had this. I mean, he did all the work to get down here. Or is it just like? Well, um, that just comes with the game. It's been the same thing since little league football, right? You go through the same thing in little yep. league, and I think at this age, you realize it could be vice versa. So it's all it's all love. We spread the wealth, and you know, I go up to him when he makes that long run. I say, "Great run! Thank you for getting us down there." You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Sounds like you you never wavered. You know on opportunity eventually coming in some way somehow but how do you kind of hang in there you just never know for sure if that's going to come uh well believe in myself you know what i'm saying self-confidence and uh coach trailer has a uh, just the, the the things he teaches us and the pillars it kind of brought that back to life for me you know what i'm saying i can't say i can't say and say to you every day i felt like it's just gonna be a great day but i knew it just it's just in me just to go hard and you know it's kind of a a, a pride thing for me and uh it's kind of natural for me when I'm on the field. I just, I don't, it don't matter if it's practice or walkthrough, you're gonna have to tell me to slow down. So I'm gonna just keep going. How hey, did you find out you're in the top 25 on Sunday? Uh, I knew it was coming and I ain't gonna lie, I kept looking at my phone, kept looking at my phone, just waiting on the news and then it hit. I was waiting last week too, but it's all good. What was the moment like when you saw it? Uh, it felt good just to see us up there, get us a little recognition, put a little respect on our name, and we still got to go out and prove ourselves every week because every week, you know, people feel a certain type of way towards us because we're UTSA, but we're in the top 25 now. So Is that bullseye this week even going to be bigger now because La Tech is going to be like, okay, you're in there, but it's going to be a choice? How I feel about uh, La Tech is um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's something like a rivalry, you know what I'm saying? They're going to give us our best. It don't matter if we were had zero wins. It don't matter if we won all of our games. They're going to – play their best against us, I know that for sure, and we, you know, it's the same thing. How do you evaluate the way you've played and the opportunities that you've had? Are you happy with what you've brought to the team this season? <clears throat> um, I got, first off, the offensive line. This is the best offensive line I've ever ran behind in my whole life. You know what I'm saying? They build a wall right there, and uh, I feel like I, I, I do my part, but I could do things better. I got to, uh, I'm going to do a better job this week of breaking more tackles. Because they, they, they open the holes, I just got to find them and break tackles. That's what it is. I was going to say, are there ways you feel like you've developed compared to previous seasons or how you've grown as a player that you can point to in yourself? Um, I feel this year, last year I was kind of focused on speed. I feel like I've maintained my speed, but I decided to, to bulk this year, play a little bigger. When you were trying to decide to come back for the extra year, what were some of the factors that you weighed? Um, ultimately, it came down to just these are my brothers, you know what I'm saying? These are my brothers. I love them. I'd be sad. I'd be sad to do anything besides come back and fight. And I already knew we were gonna have an amazing, amazing team. And it's kind of like missing out on the lottery. Why would I skip the opportunity? It's a no-brainer. Where did you feel like you were gonna fit in on the running back depth chart? Was that something you thought about in that time? Yeah, uh, I thought about that, but I just knew wherever they put me, I'd go 100%. I could say if they just want me to run down there on kickoffs, I'm gonna try to make every tackle and make my name heard that way. You know what I'm saying? And, that would be my part in contributing to our success. So I, kn- I knew no matter what I would contribute, but it's, it's just been, you know, it's been a blessing on what they got me doing so far. 
Yeah, it sounds like you've had a lot of opportunities on special teams. What, what have you brought to the table in that sense? What are your different roles there? On special teams, I feel like I bring leadership. Uh, I bring energy. I bring physicality. I'm running down there trying to trying to knock your head off every time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like some teams know that, but it is what it is. You know, we we keep it. We keep the same plan. We roll on special teams. BJ, what does it mean for you guys to be seven and zero this season? It, it means everything. You know, we take it. We take it day by day. Like coach says, win the day, and we just win every day. We go out there and give it our all. You know, regardless of the mistakes or the or the the, the big plays in practice, we just we trying to win every play. Do you talk to the young guys about how it was before because they don't really know anything else and you've been here through some of the, the down years? I feel like if I talk to them about it, they kind of wouldn't understand. But when I see them taking stuff for granted, I get on them quick. And you know, I, I talk to the young guys a lot. That's one thing that I love to do is just talk to the young players. I don't care if you're going in there for me for a run, I'm going to cheer you on all the way and I'm going to coach you up. And that's how I feel about the young guys. I love them. What, what about being one of the older guys and going through those times? How how satisfying is it now to be able to go through that? It's a blessing. It's a blessing all the way around 360 from the facility to the role models who are coaches. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have coaches that you look up to. And uh, I feel like, you know, I'm not from here. I don't got no family here. Uh, I don't have, I didn't really have many male figures here. And these coaches came in, they probably don't even know it, but some of the stuff they say, they change my point of view on some aspects of life. So it's just a blessing. Hey, BJ, uh, a lot of super seniors came into the season with kind of the same words as you, like this is going to be sort of that lofty season. Even before the season started, I want to get your thoughts on like, what was, what did the team already know that this was going to be a special season before the 7-0 and season occurred? I knew it was great from, from the first game last year, you know? I knew it was great. I knew we had some things to, I knew it was just all going to come together. We've been so close. We've been with each other for so long. The young guys come in and they just get with the program, you know what I'm saying? Because we set an example and it's just, that's, that's, that's what it is. So the first game of last year would have been Coach Taylor's first game of last season. So was it the coaches that have come in or just the players that have been tenured? Or? <clears throat> I feel like um, we've been together long, one, you know what I'm saying? Coach brought, he brought it all. He brought everything, you know, that we could ask for. And it, it just all came together and we knew it was going to come together. We knew we had talent. We just needed the right motivation, you know. BJ, when you were deciding what to do for this year, did you ever consider going somewhere where maybe you could be a starting back or get more carries than you do? Um, no, not really. Did that come up at any point during your time here? I know it's always been kind of a fight for playing time. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy that kind of likes to finish what I start. That's what my dad raised me to be, you know, he never let me quit. And I just, I couldn't quit, I can't quit, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm always fighting through. Does that attitude make it even more gratifying now for not just individually to have an opportunity, but the team to have the success that you have? Oh yeah, it just makes it gratifying, it makes it all worth it, you know, especially for the team. But um, yeah. Where are you academically at this point? I'm graduating in December, so I'm super excited about that. It's gonna be a good time. My family's coming, we already got it all planned out. Hopefully, uh, you know, everything times out perfectly. What do you want to do? Um, I'm an entrepreneur, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where it leads me. But I want. I want to be my own boss. I want to be, you know, sort of like a businessman. So it's like the multi multi disciplinary mm -hmm. studies. Or multi disciplinary studies. Yep. And uh, it's mostly in business, and then minor history. So I, I one thing about school that I loved was history. I've always loved history. So that's that's like a fallback thing, you know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll coach one day. Maybe I'll teach history. I don't know. That's kind of a fallback, though. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Day.